Welcome dear friends to my video lecture on resource mobilization theory of social movement. This is a unit one of net education or TRB education. Let us right away enter into the topic. Kindly subscribe if you like my video so that I am boosted up. Thank you very much for your presence. Let us right away enter into the topic. Resource mobilization theory of social movements. Resource mobilization theory is an important way to study social movements. It became popular in the 1970s. This theory focuses on how social movements effectively achieve their goals using resources. Valangal, valam tiratthadal. Social mobilization means uh, in Tamil, valangal tiratthadal. Social movements are organized to efforts not just responses to problems, they rely on resources like money, people, skills and networks. Resource mobilization theory says the success of a social movement depends on having and using resources well, not just on people's dissatisfaction. dissatisfaction. This video will explain the principles of a Resource mobilization theory, the resources involved, the role of organizations, the criticisms, and how this theory help us, helps us understand social movements. What are the key principles of resource mobilization theory? Uh, social movements come from organized efforts. Resource mobilization theory sees social movements as organized, goal-driven actions, not chaotic, confusing outbursts. These movements plan strategies, use resources and interact with the systems to reach their goals. Effective leadership and planning are essential for success. So, social movement uh, you know, is born out of organized efforts of some leaders, perhaps some people you know, who are interested in uh, social uh, mobilization, resource mobilization in social movement. What is the importance of resources? The success of social movements depends greatly on access to resources. Resources include money, materials, social capital, skills and networks. Movements with enough resources can continue their activities, gain participants and achieve goals. Then it needs the external support and alliances, I mean uh, to be in company with others or in cooperation with others. External support is important for social movements. They often get help from other organizations, institutions or political groups. This support can be financial, logistical or political. Movements with the strong alliances have better chances to mobilize resources and sustain their efforts. Then rational actors. These, these leaders will become rational actors, one who uh, you know, does everything out of reasoning, discernment reflection etc. Participants in social movements are rational actors who consider the cost and benefits of their involvement. People join movements when they believe it will bring them benefits not only for moral reasons. Yeah. Movements offer incentives like political influence, a sense of solidarity or moral satisfaction to attract participants. What are the types of resources in social movements? Of course, the above point is very important. You know, the social movements offer incentives like political influence, a sense of solidarity, a moral satisfaction to attract participants. Normally, any party, the political party, formerly it was a social movement and slowly it becomes a political party. There you can see. So, people who are participating in such movements will be given political influence, a sense of solidarity, even moral satisfaction to attract participants. They will have their own narrative sayings to the people in order to attract them. What are the types of resources in social movements? Material resources. These include physical and financial resources like money, office, office space, vehicles and supplies. Material resources help fund campaigns, print materials, organize events and support long-term activities. 
that human resources are involved in social movement. People are essential for social movements. Uh, leaders guide the movement and the participants give the time and effort. Skilled people like lawyers, organizers and media experts help with the legal problems and public visibility. Then the social capital, there is a concept called a social capital in social movement. Social capital is the network of relationship and trust a movement can use. Strong social capital helps movements gain participations participants make alliances and build credibility. Strong social capital helps movements to gain participants, make alliances and build credibility or trust. Cultural and moral resources. Movements are used, uh, uh, movements, uh, uh, use, social movements use shared values, norms and symbols that connect with people. These cultural and moral resources appeal to wider audiences and gain public support. For example, the civil rights movement in the United States used the moral themes of justice and equality, civil rights movement. Then informational resources. There, there is another concept called informational resource in social movement. Access to information is a key for mobilizing support and coordinating actions. Movements need knowledge about laws, organizing strategies and the political context situation. Using media to share their message helps reach more people. So they use media to pro uh, propagate their ideas you know, to the people, informational resources. The role of organizations in resource mobilization. Resource mobilization theory highlights the role of organizations in social movements. Social movement organizations coordinate activities, manage resources and set goals. These organizations connect participants and structure efforts. They also handle fundraising, recruiting and alliance building. For example, NAACP was a leading US civil rights movement organization. It provides leadership and legal expertise. Greenpeace plays a similar role in the environmental movement by raising funds and influencing policies. Rural mobilization theory also emphasizes the importance of professional organizations in social movements. Professional stop and roles help manage resources and keep movements active over time. What are the criticisms of resource mobilization theory? Resource mobilization theory has received some criticisms. Critics say the theory focuses too much on resources and overlooks or sidelines or neglects ideology, identity and emotions. They argue that movements are also motivated by strong beliefs and values. Another criticism is that rural uh, mobilization theory downplays the role of the social problems like inequality in starting movements. Some scholars question if rural uh, uh, not rural, if uh, resource mobilization theory applies to all movements, especially those in poor or decentralized areas. For example, movements in the global south may lack resources but still achieve large scale support. We are talking about the international scenario. So uh, what could be the conclusion at the end? Resource mobilization theory helps us understand how social movements emerge grow and sustain themselves. That is the reason for resource mobilization. How social movements emerge, grow and sustain themselves. The, we are able to understand through resource mobilization theory. By focusing on resources, organization, rational actions, resource mobilization theory explains the practical challenges uh, movements face. Although it has limitations, Resource mobilization theory remains a valuable way to study social movements today. Now let us analyze some of the important questions. What is the central focus of resource mobilization theory? The psychological motivations of individuals, the causes of social grievances, the organization and use of resources, the emotional appeal of social movements. So what would be the answer? What is the central focus of resource mobilization theory that is the organization and use of resources. 
Resource mobilization theory focuses on how social movements efficiently mobilize and use resources to achieve their goals rather than focusing on grievances or emotional triggers. So emotional aspects uh, do not involve here in social movements and uh, they are just uh, aimed at mobilizing and using resources to achieve their goals. So that is the idea here. So, uh, Resource mobilization theory focuses on how social movements efficiently mobilize and use resources to achieve their goals rather than focusing on grievances, problems, complaints or emotional triggers, emotional aspects. According to resource mobilization theory, social movements are viewed as what? Spontaneous responses to inequality, irrational emotional outbursts, organized goal-oriented efforts, random acts of protest. So according to resource mobilization theory, uh, social movements are viewed as what? Organized goal-oriented efforts. Resource mobilization theory sees social movements as rational, organized entities that strategically plan their actions to achieve specific objectives. Which of the following is not considered a resource according to resource mobilization theory? Among the four, one is not considered. What is that? Money, emotional distress, social networks, expertise. So which of the following is not considered a resource according to uh, resource mobilization theory? That is emotional distress. Emotional distress is not considered a resource. Resource mobilization theory focuses on tangible and intangible resources such as money, networks and skills. According to resource mobilization theory, external support for a movement is not important, a hindrance, crucial for success, only helpful for large movements. So according to uh, resource mobilization theory, external support for a movement is very important, crucial for success. External report, external support from organizations, donors and allies, friends is vital for the success and sustainability of a social movement. So external support is very important, especially from organization, donors and other friends is important for the success of the social movement. What type of resources do social movements uh, not depend on out of these four? What type of resources do social movements not depend on? They are not depending on it. What is that? Human resources, financial resources, grievances and dissatisfaction, social capital. That is grievances and dissatisfaction. Uh, resource mobilization theory downplays grievances and uh, instead uh, focuses on the mobilization of various resources like human and financial capital. Which of the following best describes social capital in resource mobilization theory? Which of the following out of these four, uh, which best describes social capital? Financial donations from wealthy individuals, networks of relationships and trust, emotional investment from participants, the moral foundation of a movement. Which of the following best describes social capital in resource mobilization theory? That is, networks of relationships and trust. Social capital refers to the networks, relationships and trust that help a movement mobilize participants and build alliances, cooperation with others. According to uh, resource mobilization theory, participants in social movements are driven primarily by emotions. Is it true? Rational actors uh, who access cost and benefits. Is it true? Motivated by desperation. Motivated by desperation. Is it true? Acting impulsively without clear goals. Is it true? So according to resource mobilization theory, participants in social movements are rational actors who assess cost and benefits. Resource mobilization theory views participants as rational individuals who weigh the cost and benefits of joining a movement. What are the benefits of joining a movement? We will see always. What role do social movement organizations play in resource mobilization theory? Social movement organization. 
they hinder individual action they organize and manage resources they focus solely on fundraising they promote emotional appeals what role do social movement organization play in resource mobilization theory that is they organize and manage resources this uh, social movement organization yes or most are responsible for coordinating activities managing resources and providing leadership in social movements which of the following is an example of material resources in resource mobilization theory what is the example out of this four moral support from the public social media followers money and office space political ideology which of the following is an example of material resource that is nothing but money and office space i mean the place for office the site office site you know the uh, furniture everything in the office all these things so the money and office space material resources include physical assets like money office space and uh, supplies necessary for a movement's operation what is a key criticism of resource mobilization theory it focuses too much on ideology it over emphasizes the importance of resources it ignores the role of rational actors it views movements as emotional reactions what is a key criticism of resource mobilization theory it over emphasizes the over emphasizes the importance of resources critics argue that resource mobilization theory places too much emphasis on resources and neglects the emotional the emotional and ideological drivers of social movement very important one critics argue that uh, resource mobilization theory gives too much importance to resources and avoids or neglects the emotional and ideological drivers of social movements how does uh, resource mobilization theory view grievances and social conditions as the primary cause of social movements as irrelevant to the success of movements as less important than resource availability as emotional responses without significance how does uh, resource mobilization theory view grievances complaints and uh, social conditions they are uh, seen as less important than resources availability yeah that's very important so resource mobilization theory acknowledges grievances but emphasizes that access to resources is more critical in determining a movement's success so they give more importance to Uh, the access of resources rather than these uh, uh, you know <coughs> grievances or uh, grievances and social condition they are not interested in it uh, only thing they want to uh, you know have access to resources they give more importance to that how to gather money and other material resources for the welfare of the social movement <coughs> what kind of resources are cultural and moral resources what kind of resources are cultural and moral resources money and technology shared values norms and symbols personal skills and knowledge external funding what kind of resources are cultural and moral resources shared values norms and symbols cultural and moral resources involve shared beliefs and symbols that can lend legitimacy and public support to a movement yeah Uh, culture and moral resources involve shared beliefs i mean common beliefs and symbols that can uh, create legitimacy and public support to a social movement in uh, resource mobilization theory why is leadership important to ensure the emotional appeal of the movement to manage resources and coordinate strategies to focus on creating grievances to increase spontaneous participation so which is the right one why is leadership important to manage resources and coordinate strategies uh, ways and means to gather resources that is strategies leaders are essential in organizing resources planning strategies and guiding the overall direction of the social movement which of the following is an intangible uh, very sorry intangible resource intangible means uh, that we cannot uh, see that we cannot see or that we cannot touch you know intangible resource uh, for social movements money 
public trust vehicles office equipment public trust you know, that is the in, intangible resource means you cannot see it with your own naked eyes you know you can only feel it trust you can be convinced of uh, you know, someone is trustworthy so trust public trust intangible resources like public trust and legitimacy are critical for gaining support and legitimacy though they are not physical assets they are not physical assets you not know, the mental you know, mental assets uh, but nevertheless they are very much needed for any social movement because it gives a legitimacy and confidence for gaining support and uh, support you know for the welfare of the uh, social movement what is the role of alliances in social movements according to resource mobilization theory what is the role of alliances that means uh, to be in touch with others to be in cooperation with others alliances uh, they create divisions within movements they provide crucial external support they hinder independent decision making they are irrelevant to resource mobilization what is the role of alliances in social movements according to resource mobilization theory they provide crucial external support they provide crucial external support alliances with other organizations or institutions can offer financial logistical and moral support enhancing a, a social movements capacity so the alliances with the organization or institution can give financial or financial logistical and moral support enhancing a movement's capacity power what distinguishes uh, resource mobilization theory from earlier theories of social movements the previous theories of social movements its focus on emotional factors its emphasis on resources and organization its a belief that the movements are irrational its a disregard for rational actors so what uh, distinguishes uh, resource mobilization theory from previous theories of social movements its emphasis on resources and organization resource mobilization theory differs from previous theory earlier theories by focusing on the organized nature of movements and the importance of mobilizing resources once again i repeat rmt that is a uh, resource mobilization theory differs from earlier theories previous theories by focusing on the organized nature of movements and the importance of mobilizing resources so that way they are different from uh, earlier theories that we have we can understand which social movement is often cited as an example of uh, resource mobilization theory in action which a social movement is often called as an example of resource mobilization theory in action the french revolution the civil rights movement the american revolution the suffragette movement that is the, the civil rights movement the civil rights movement is a key example of resource mobilization theory as it strategically as it strategically mobilized the resources leadership and alliances to achieve success i hope you are understanding this yes what is the significance of human resources in resource mobilization theory what is the importance of human resources in resource mobilization theory people who provide emotional support the leaders and participants involved in a movement the external donors who fund the movement individuals who critique the movement from outside so uh, what is the importance of human resources in uh, resource mobilization theory the leaders and participants involved in the movement they are very very important for the for giving the direction to the movement they should be very talented uh, ones so that they are able to uh, steer uh, you know the entire movement in the right path so the leaders and participants involved in the movement human resources refer to the people involved including leadership and volunteers who play vital roles in the movement which of the following statements corresponds to or is linked with the logic of resource mobilization theory which of the following statements aligns with the logic of resource mobilization theory movement succeed purely based on the strength of grievances 
resources must be strategically managed for a movement to succeed emotions are the primary drivers of all social movements social movements do not need organizational structures so which of the following statements aligns with the logic of resource mobilization theory resources must be strategically managed for a movement to succeed uh, resource mobilization theory argues that efficient management and mobilization of resources are key to a movement's success again i repeat uh, resource mobilization theory argues that efficient management and mobilization of resources are key to a movement's success which of the following movements relied heavily on cultural and moral resources the environmental movement the american civil mo- uh, civil war the french revolution the civil rights movement which of the following movements relied heavily on cultural and moral resources the civil rights uh, movement uh, the civil rights movement uh, drew on cultural and moral resources including appeals to justice and equality for an example transgender movements uh, you know in other countries uh, in india it is not uh, very uh, powerful like that. i think uh, slowly they are starting it but uh, of course they have achieved certain things also in india but in other countries this is a civil rights movement especially for uh, women uh, especially for transgender uh, people you no know, uh, third sex uh, uh, people so the civil rights movement uh, drew on cultural and moral resources including appeals to justice and equality according to resource mobilization theory what is the primary role of a social movement organization to promote spontaneous demonstrations to manage and allocate resources efficiently to undermine rival movements to avoid external alliances so according to resource mobilization theory what is the primary role of a social movement organization that is to manage and allocate resources efficiently so uh, social movement organizations are responsible for organizing the movement and uh, ensuring that resources are used effectively to achieve its goals so social movement organizations are responsible for organizing the movement and they should ensure that the resources are used effectively to achieve its goals why is a professionalization important in modern social movements according to resource mobilization theory why is professionalization that is 24 hours job you know 24 by 7 no that type of uh, uh, service and there is a expertise uh, involved in that and the professional the dedicated people are involved in uh, professional uh, life uh, so why is professionalization important in modern social movements according to resource mobilization theory it leads to more emotional engagement it helps manage resources more efficiently it reduces the need for alliances it prioritizes spontaneous participation so why is professionalization important in modern social movements it helps manage resources more efficiently professionalization allows for better management of resources helping movements sustain their activities over time professionalization allows for better management of resources helping movements sustain their activities over time for any at any time uh, for number of years that's like for continued uh, uh, life you know so that is the idea professionalization is needed for that which type of resource includes knowledge and information crucial for a movement's strategy financial resources informational resources social capital human resources what type of resource includes knowledge and information crucial for a movement strategy that is informational resources informational resources include knowledge about laws strategies and political context that help movements make informed decisions thank you very much dear friends god bless you abundantly let us meet in another video lecture kindly go through all these videos navid sir so that at the last minute you may not get confused you will get a very clear idea of all the basic concepts in the syllabus that will help you to you know tackle the exam even if it is very difficult because the terms 
the words, the vocabulary, everything you will be familiar with. Of course, you know, under, under each topic, only these terms will be coming in the exam also. Even if the questions are very difficult, if you know all these basic facts, I'm sure you will be able to get the correct answer. In no time, you will be able to uh, tick the correct answer. So thank you very much for your presence. Kindly go through everything, especially for those who are appearing for um, this one, this uh, TRB. Kindly go through the content. Later on, I think soon, uh, maybe within two weeks, I'll be able to give PDF file for both uh, content material, that is uh, questions, you know, the descriptive questions and answers, as well as the question bank. You know, I'm getting ready for that. By the time I'll be giving all the uh, videos at the moment, as, as I am giving, I will be giving soon, as early as possible. So kindly go through all the videos, uh, expect soon the PDF files within uh, uh, 10 days or 15 days, so that I am able to give it uh, a nice shape and the most important questions and most important uh, descriptive questions and answers in simple way, in simple sentences, I am just working on it. I am sure you will be getting that and I'm sure you, it will be of great help to you. So God bless you abundantly for your presence. Let us meet in other video, video lectures. Kindly subscribe. You know, that will be a great boost to me for the work that I do. So for that reason, kindly subscribe, like, comment. Everything has got a value <laughs> with regard to YouTube. Of course, you know, just because I become a YouTuber, naturally I need to, uh, you know, be a little concerned about that. If it is not there, I am not going to lose anything, you know. My purpose is not that, you know. You know just, you know, help of people only. Uh, but, you know, I am not worried about the big, big numbers and all at the moment. And if it comes to well and good, but the only thing I just appeal to you. Thank you very much. God bless you abundantly.